It's time to get your grades in check. To start putting the effort into your studying to achieve the grades that you know you can achieve. And it starts with the number of hours you put into your studying. It's very simple. On average, the more hours you study for an exam, the higher your exam grade will be. Everybody wants to achieve grades in the top 5% of their school or university. Everybody wants to be that person that appears to effortlessly glide through every exam. But I'll tell you right now, it doesn't just happen. It's the endless hours of reading textbooks, practicing past exam papers, asking the professor questions, researching, reading, writing. That's what you don't see. In three years, you'll be able to think back. I got the lowest grade in the class three years ago. And now, I'm in the top 5% of the year. Because you took the pain. And you channeled it into productive action. It's a life-changing skill to have. To be able to take negative emotions and pain and flip it. Into fuel for your fire. So, make a decision right now. Which path do you want to take? The path of hard work and success? Or the path of pain and regret? We all know people that have these dreams and ambitions. And they talk and talk and talk about what they're going to do. And they're talking and talking, but there's no action. They say they're going to do this, and they're going to do that. But when are they going to do it? They just end up coasting through life like everyone else. So you can see that behavior in another person. So don't be that person. Do something about it. Do something to move you towards that goal. If that means studying an extra hour that day, then so be it. If that means going for a 30 minute run after class, then so be it. It doesn't matter what it is. However small or insignificant that step seems. If you take one small step, 365 days a year, it all adds up. How long are you going to continue with your life, taking exam after exam and getting mediocre grade after mediocre grade? Stop being that person that is full of excuses. Stop being that person that has every excuse under the sun why you shouldn't study, why you have better things to do. You are the reason why you're getting the grades that you're getting. You are the reason why negativity is following you everywhere you go. You are the reason why you're struggling financially. It's a choice, and you've made it. You have thought your way into being mediocre, just like everyone else around you. You have thought your way into negativity and despair. Stop complaining about how difficult the exams are when you haven't even studied for them. Of course they're hard if you haven't studied. You want to improve your grades? You want to improve your life? You want to improve your opportunities? You need to start now. You don't really want to wake up and get out of bed at 5 in the morning? Get up and get out of bed. You don't really want to go to the gym? You go to the gym. You don't want to study for that exam coming in two weeks? You study for that exam in two weeks. You need to get things done. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Don't listen to that voice. Instead, go through the motions. Get out of bed, go to the gym, revise for the exams. And what you'll find is, you'll have more success. And when you have more success, you'll feel more fulfilled, more content with your life. 
You're not going to feel perfect every day, but you've got to push through. I can tell you, I'm going to make my dreams become a reality. And it starts right here with my studying. The work ethic and discipline that I practice will carry me, not only through university, but through the rest of my life. I don't care how much I have to invest, how much time I have to invest, how many hurdles I have to jump through. I'm going to continue doing this until I'm successful. I love how Eric Thomas talks about his show up rule. He says, you can pretend that you care, but you can't pretend that you're there. The only way you can show that you care is if you show up. And what I'm asking you to do for me is to show up every single day. It's easy to miss a class on Monday morning when you're feeling tired. The problem is, you'll miss that one class and you'll get away with it. Then you'll miss another class, and then another, and then another. It's human nature. If we can get away with it and gain instant short-term satisfaction from it, then we keep on doing it. And it's an easy trap to fall into. That's why it's so important to not miss even one class because it can quickly snowball into something more dangerous. Through discipline, you get things done. That essay isn't going to write itself. That textbook isn't going to read itself. That class isn't going to attend itself. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. So stop thinking about it. Stop dreaming about it. Stop watching YouTube videos about it and debating whether or not to procrastinate even further. Start studying. Take that first step and start studying. There's one thing motivational channels never tell you. It's something they all avoid saying. Even though it can be the most motivational two words you'll ever hear, they all avoid saying it. It's these two words, you can't. Because let me tell you, when someone tells me that I can't do something, when someone doesn't believe in me or looks down on me or sees me as weak and powerless, I don't care who it is. My parents, my friends, my professors at university, society, it doesn't matter. When I'm told you can't, I'll prove you wrong. When you try to drag me down, I'll bounce back twice as strong with more focus more discipline, more determination than ever before. Because you chose the wrong person to mess with. Because a lot of people would be discouraged and intimidated and fall back when they're told they can't do something. Most people are like that, and that's fine. It's normal to feel that way. It's normal to feel discouraged when the people around you are dragging you down. But that's not me. I turn that negative energy into obsession. I study three hours more every day. I stay focused like a laser. Procrastination doesn't stand a chance when I'm in obsession mode. And it's the negative comments, the people saying you can't, that fuels this obsession to become stronger and stronger. I can study 12 hours a day. It's easy. I go to the gym in the morning, study for four hours, eat, study for four hours, eat, study for four hours, then sleep. It becomes a routine, a set of daily habits that I carry out religiously, and I love every minute of it. The studying, which I once struggled with, has become an obsession that I love. I look forward to it every morning. I love learning about the world around me. I love the satisfaction at the end of the day after studying for 12 hours. I love the sense of accomplishment. I love the feeling of my grades increasing from C's to B's to A's. I love when my friends ask me what grade I got, and I love the shock on their faces when I tell them. Studying for exams, something that I used to struggle with on a daily basis, the struggle with focus, and the struggle with procrastination, the struggle with constant distractions. It's now so much easier, and I have my haters to thank for that. When they told me I can't, they fueled me. They gave me the energy to power through, to love what I'm studying to study at a level which I thought was impossible just a year ago. My haters made it possible. The people around me trying to drag me down helped me. And for that, 
I'll be forever grateful.